hear that type of stuff. But anytime I, I, if I did a show on, you know, the late, the latest on Mickey Minaj or some shit like that, that would be like one of my highest rated shows. It's very frustrating, but I still try to find that balance of, of entertainment and education um, through through Flabo Radio. So it, it it can be done. It, just, it seems like it's it's a downhill battle, man. You know, or an uphill battle. I'm sorry, <laughs> uphill battle. To, yeah, it, it, it's tough, man. It, it's tough on all ends, but you know, it's needed because. The hoodies up for Trayvon Martin. I don't see anybody rocking a hoodie now. You know? Uh, yeah, they talk much summertime. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like a two-hour outside. I can't wear a hoodie. Like, man, I've never had one. And it's fancy. That's the way it goes. Man. It was like a Facebook thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody and their moms had, had that in their, their profile picture. You know? And now, when it comes to the crowd, it's going on now. I just see very few people following like every time I'm the same people I see it posting up we're gonna get justice we're gonna get justice man I don't see anything about it anymore on my timeline right all I see is you know what is it everybody talking about the playoffs and there's nothing wrong with that but you know as, as hard as they were going you should expect you know something right so, right man absolutely I'll be fine um, oh man But yeah man How did you uh, How did you link up With the roots man Oh man Like um, That was Like I've always th- Thankfully One of the guys Who got one Okay player He had heard a song That I did Freestyle over I uh, forgot his name Right now But he had heard it And he was like Yo man This is dope Like this is dope Like I can see Nobody else Is gonna touch it and, you know, when you try to follow black thoughts, man, you gotta come with. And to me, I honestly still don't feel like I can't be anywhere close. But, you know, they thought it was good enough. They played it warm and everything. You know, because then we had a good working relationship where they would, they would post up anything that I, I, I have. And uh, when I came in New York one year, I was, I was just there, I told them, I was like, man, we can link up, we go out, go get some food like we always do. And he told me, he's like, yeah, we'll, we'll see what's going on, they got us working for the, the event today. And then he hit me up like maybe an hour later and said, hey man, if you're free, you can swing through, man, we got you at the door. I was like, cool. And then he hit me up five minutes later, like, yo, I actually got you backstage, Dad. I was like, oh, thanks, man, I appreciate it. Then like five minutes later, he's like, Hey man, get your bars ready. They want you to get on stage with them. I was like, stop playing with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, that's not gonna happen. Something's gonna have to be drastically wrong, and I'm not gonna be able to do that. And showing up, like, we finished that stage and chilling 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 and you know, I was just like, oh, God, this can't be real, man. You know what I'm saying? I kept thinking stuff was going to go wrong. But no, I didn't. They had to come 
on those days with them while they was rocking in the middle of that shit. Came out the block with them and laughed and man, it was fun. We just got a chance to chop it up. Eat some of the best chicken I've had in my life backstage. <laughs> Right, that that had to be a, such an epic moment in your career, man. Like the Roots and Legendary, they're no, they're another group that people don't really get into too much. I think it's because they have a lot of um, they they talk about a lot of social ills. You know, Black Thought is um, I wouldn't say super political, but he he's like a street reporter. He he, he talks about everything. So a lot of times people people kind of ignore the Roots, but they're definitely legendary. They're one of my favorite groups, man. And if if I was an MC, I would love to to be on stage with the Roots, man. That's that's phenomenal, dude. Man, I say, uh, that's exactly right. That's my thoughts exactly. You know, it's what what they do and what they stand for and how long they've been in the game. Man, it's just, it's just a real. So to have the type of career that they have to talk about the things they talk about, and even to have graduated now to the level of you know where they're on the on the on the late night, uh, the late night band. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. What's your uh, What's your favorite album from the Roots, man? You know what? I think the last joint that I had, I think when um, which I think was one of was was like three of my favorite because like I always like to do parts. Like the I mean, I mean, summer just listening to certain songs. Like I would go summer just playing Denver Star. I go summer playing, you know, what I'm saying B two point oh. And then 75 Bar is like my favorite motivation song. So I'm like, I'm not necessarily an album guy. Because I always hate having to pick albums against each other, even with other artists. Unless it's like a big, easy one to, to choose. Like, sometimes I do it with Kanye. I can't pick a favorite. No, but I have a song. Right, that's understandable, man. Um, pretty much for me, man, I'd probably say like the, the how I got over is probably my favorite album. I love the instrumentation on that album and, and some of the concepts they have. But yeah, for sure, man. And the, the roots kind of like you, you can't go go wrong with any of their songs. Yeah, it's just like they're so deep and so different. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I remember hearing I saw Steve. I was like, Jesus Christ, this is so musical. I've never heard anything like this. Uh, you know, just like you mentioned, like I think. Uh, Guy, something I heard not too long ago, and I was like, Jesus. Like, how do you? I don't know. Like, I'm just blown away every time I hear something from it. And I'm just, I don't know how they keep reinventing themselves. I don't know how they keep finding ways to, 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 to diversify their music and keep exploring different concepts. It's just stunning to me. It's like, that, that to me is like one of the bars that's, that's raised as hip hop artists of what we need to start striving for. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. <laughs> Your latest project, man, Save Our Souls. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the concept behind the project? Um, I came up with the with the title a while ago, and you know, that was, at first reading is just supposed to be like this return to kind of like the, the traditional soul music, soul samples, and everything. But it was it, I kept feeling like there needs to be more. Where we can either 
Chevy back to the Adidas. Or, since I'm Jay Crow, just let things just dramatically go downhill. You can just drown. Yeah. Yeah. I've got like you know, I know that you still need the person. I never want to look at the look at it like as if I'm the savior because I'm not. That's why I wanted to put Jay Barnes on because I wanted to, to really emphasize that I'm in it as well. I'm going through it just like everybody else is going through it. And we really have to do better because a lot of people are just unaware. Unaware of what's going on. They're unaware of how every day affects us tomorrow and in each generation. If we don't wake up, if we don't look at what's going on, if we don't take these things seriously, these are the same habits that's going to break us. You know, where I remember back in the day when people used to say, oh man, somebody's a, a baby daddy or a baby mama, and that was like a thing that, that was kind of like, not necessarily shunned apart, but some people got a little flattered. And, and nowadays it's so common that nobody cares. Nobody cares about, you know, fathers not to be taking care of their children. Nobody cares. Nobody checks anybody. So, I wanted to, to, to kind of explore that. I wanted to explore all these different things about where we are as people. I wanted to show, you know, contradiction within myself. You know, when it starts to sound like, oh man, you know, I mentioned like, you know, we, we call my women bitches and my niggas my dogs. It's the same stuff that was mentioned early on in the house where I'm saying the same thing. Because, you know, I want people to see it. I want people to see it. Like, you know, I want people to say, like, yo, this is what we're doing. This is, and it's not just everybody else. Like, I'm doing it too. And I need to work on better in my life. So, and, and uh, that's, that's what the whole album is about, man. It's just about looking at where we are as a people and trying to get better. Right, and, that, and that's important, man, especially coming from a young voice. And, and you're showing, you know, the contradictions within yourself because human beings are walking contradictions, but we can do the best not to play so much to those contradictions. And, and you're, 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 not pointing, you're not doing it from a standpoint where you're, you're, you're on the outside looking in, pointing, pointing fingers. That's why some of the, you know, people like Bill Cosby, for instance, a lot of people can't relate to him because we feel like other people feel like that he's pointing the finger. He's not really saying that. You know, he's not a part of our culture. It is what it, what we feel like. So for you to come from a standpoint where, okay, yeah, I'm I'm human. I'm doing the same thing that you're doing, but I'm definitely trying to better myself. So, you know, it's definitely some something that people can relate to because they don't feel like you're a hypocrite. They don't feel like you're talking down to them. So for you to do that, that that's absolutely you know amazing, man. Oh, man, dude, that's, that's exactly what the whole motivation is. Like you never want to talk. You know, look like or feel like you talk above somebody or below somebody. You want to be an ally. You want to be like, I understand that you're going through it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going through it too. But we both going to get better. You know, like that. That's what I want people to see. Like, I don't want people to think like, that I just always hate that holier than thou mentality. Right. And people are like, you know, sometimes it's still like people are down talking. They're saying, you need to do this and you need to do that. You got to do this. You know, and then they, then, then like a couple months later, you figure out that they're doing worse dirt than you are. And then everything that they say is now null and void. So I never wanted to, to be that. I never wanted to be in that position. I wanted to be, let people know I'm human. I'm going through it too. I make, I'm making mistakes as well. But every day is another day, and it's a day to try, and it's a day to take a step forward. And just because you think it's impossible isn't an excuse to not try. So, you know, I may never be perfect, but I'd stand if I sit back and be, yo, I'm just going to live my life and just let it go downhill and not do anything. Right. Some people are just like, oh man, it's, it's too much. I, I've done too much dirt. It's too hard to try. Like, I can't say an example. I can't do better. But you can always do better. It just takes, you know, take it every, every day, one day at a time, and, and you'll get to the point where you need to be. Nobody changes overnight. So it's definitely a process. Yeah. Exactly. All the work in process, man. All the work in process. Absolutely. Cotton Fields, man. I have to say, this is my favorite joint from Save Our Souls. Um, in, in one line, you said that uh, as Jimmy Alvin, <laughs> how many slaves he owns. So you know, it was just made me laugh because I, you know I have, I have conversations with you know my people, and I'm like, man, you know, I would never sign the Interscope. Like he's pretty much a slave master. He owns like all the black talent, pretty much. And then people always looked at me at, at me crazy. So when